We're back for the second round of my Illumicraft single console 205 update and the little uh, extra things that I put on here. Okay, so let's just, we'll make a little run through here. Another thing I installed here, I don't know if you can see this, this is awesome. This is the uh, cargo nut, so easy. It's just some pins here that you screw in and and then holds it there as you can see and you can put tons of stuff in here I like it so much though it can be I mean, life jackets in here I put tons of baits in the summertime and holds tons but it's so convenient that I put sometimes too much stuff in there and I can't find anything it's just like oh it's too easy I love it put uh, another one here right by the console as you can see uh, and you can put your pliers fish scent whatever in there mint um, these tracks, the Luma tracks are crazy. It's just so good. You can see this with the slides and you can put these anywhere up and down the tracks on this track system. I love it. And I got a whole bunch of these. The Luma track system. Love that. And that's and that's about it. I don't think that was there last time. And my boat and my situation. Uh, I've added a few little things here. Now I got a bass boat chair, wicket. I might get two, right? And put one of these bass boat chairs or bicycle pedal chairs as they call it um one there and one there is kind of cool to have you see you have people back to back fishing um a really wicked thing thank you mickey and alumacraft boats the good people alumacraft boats for saying this to me this was amazing this is like this um transformer piece i think this is sick and it's really easy to install like i got this after i didn't get originally with the boat and um all it was was it was really cool um there's five screws initially and the holes were already there on this bracket piece this bracket piece here was five screws I think one had a bolt on the back end that you put in right there you can see I think where is it right there and you put a bolt and a, a washer on it right there and the others, I think the bolts were already in. And there's a live well there, so you couldn't get to the back of it, but it held in pretty good. So I think the screw and bolt from the instructions were already there, and when you screw in, it just kind of locks itself in. So it was really easy. And then once you put that bracket in, right here, you screw these ones in. And at first, I didn't realize, but then I read the instructions. You're not supposed to screw these too tight. See, there's a little, there's a little, um, uh, keyhole kind of thing so these slide up and down and if it's too tight it won't allow these to slide up and down you see so you want them to slide because that actual the actual hinge kind of moves up and down and then it's flush when I first did it, I put it so tight that these this hinge thing wasn't flush and you could actually trip on it um, didn't change the prop I kept with the um, aluminum and you know they say stainless steel will give you more hole shot and fuel economy and a little bit more speed but i feel like this VTEC engine that's what's it's got phenomenal torque and hole shot i push like me plus four people in the boat and get up and out and plane and no problem and the fuel economy is good anyway so i don't know um the reason why i did this uh, is that if you hit something with stainless steel, I'm out so much that I do hit things and if you hit something with stainless steel There's no give it's so um, There's no flexibility in that and it'll bend your prop shaft and do internal damage I don't like downtime with the lower unit. I've hit some hard water over the years, and it's not fun <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so my prop and engines in good shape as you can see uh, my fence door not so much <laughs> eh, What else we got going on? Um, Trolling motor, uh, yeah, it was a new item. This is the Altrex. Um, I did have, I have one issue with it. I don't know why, but now I question is durability uh, in the beginning because I, I know the Tarova and the old um, cable drives are like pretty much invincible. Uh, this one, right now I'm having trouble with, uh, I don't know, it could be my battery. Sometimes the batteries, there's problems with it. Maybe we'll do an update on that too, but when I press power now, like I'll get power and once I let go of the, the button there, it'll still be going on constant, like it's on constant. So um, 
Yeah, there's something there. It might be in the pedal. I'm gonna have to open this up. It might be minor. It's under warranty anyway, but we'll see. I hope it's nothing major. Um, overall, it's been pretty good. It could be me. It could be a, a battery or something, but the batteries are in charge and it tells me when there's a battery and there's something wrong with the battery. So I think, I think, um, I think it's something wrong with that motor. So we'll see. Uh, and I run it really hard. So if there's any type of flaws, um, I'll find them. <laughs> but yeah, that mo that trolling motor there, um, it's tough, but it could be not tough enough for someone like me. So I'm a bit extreme, but we'll find out. I'll come back to you on that. Uh, so yeah, I love this, you know. Look at all the room I have now, you know. And then, okay, I don't need to put chairs in sometimes when I have people. They can just sit up here. Oh, my things, my buckle's not up. Boom. Don't have to put chairs in, you know, some days. You got two people, don't have to put chairs in. Amazing. And then transform. <laughs> transform. Beautiful. Now we can fish up here. Put a basketball chair up here if you want. So much more room. You can shove your tools underneath there. Get some stuff out of the way so people don't trip on it. And beauty, man. You know? Update. Everything's gravy, man. And I'm just loving this thing. Drives smooth like butter. And again, thank you, Lumacraft, and thank you, Honda Marine, man. Phenomenal setup.